What are the top five most critical things you should know as a Wayfinder player? Well, I'm here to answer that for you. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jab Skywalker, but you can call me Jabs. Welcome to another Wayfinder video. I definitely want to thank you all for the support of my last two Wayfinder videos. If you haven't checked those out, definitely do that after this video or more than likely before because it might make more sense for you to check it out before anyway i want to thank you for that without further ado let's get into the top five most critical things you should know as a wayfinder player the first critical thing you need to know as a wayfinder player is how to build your character and although this sounds quite generic let me explain because there are two parts to this Let's say you picked Silo as your first main character. He's a ranged attacker who uses explosives and his primary weapon is a gun. When you think of what type of character this is, it means your focus will more than likely not be on increasing your magic defense or your health for example. Instead, with a character like this, you want to build attack power, crit power, crit rate, and ability power. It's simple build based off the character's abilities and you will have an easier time with the game this leads me to the part two of this and second most critical thing to know as a wayfinder player and that's three words instinct discipline and focus no i didn't just grab a dictionary and read you three random words i'm sure you've seen those words a lot in this game and those are also the symbols for the items and accessories and weapons that you have for your character. Well, let's call these substats to your stats. When you click on your character screen, click on the affinity section, and you're going to notice all of your stats split up into three groups. If you hover over instinct, discipline, or focus, you're going to notice your stats get highlighted on the right side. These are the sections those specific stats are in. So, when you equip accessories or you equip weapons, make sure they all line up for your character. If your Wayfinder has max health in the Discipline section, then your health for items or from weapons should line up with that. Not saying you can't add the item if it doesn't line up, but it's not going to help you increase your power level any easier if you don't line those up. Which leads me to my third most critical thing to know in Wayfinder, Echoes. Ah yes, my favorite thing to grind for in Wayfinder, but what exactly are Echoes and how do you find them? Well, Echoes are received from killing a monster, and each one has different things it does to increase, let's say, your attack power, health, defense, you name it. And these Echoes will be the key to increasing your character's overall power level. The best part about the Echoes is that you can add multiple of them to your character. You can add them also to your weapon, and you can also add them to your accessories. They are another way to increase your stats on top of adding your weapons and accessories and affinity points. So, after you complete a quest or go on a hunt, you want to keep checking your echoes and making sure there isn't a better one you can switch out of to raise your power level. You can access the echoes by going to your character page, scrolling down a bit and click echoes, and that is where you can add them. You can see your power level above your stats while you're adding or taking away echoes so you can see the results of what you're doing immediately. And I want to add that echoes are super, super, super important, guys. If you do not have echoes equipped, you will get bodied. There is no question about it. You're going to get walked down. The fourth most crucial thing you need to know as a Wayfinder player is character resonance. You may have seen small, medium, or large resonance as a reward for doing story quests, but you have no idea what that means. Well, it's actually a way to level up your character faster than the old daily grind. You can access it by going to your menu, scrolling over a bit, and you'll see these golden squares. If you click on them, they let you level up your character super fast. This is important because the game essentially wants you to be able to level up and try other characters sooner than later. And bonus tip here before our last one, do the mission to get the job board with Wolf because the rewards for most of the job board quests are resonance. And folks, the last but certainly not least most critical thing you should know as a Wayfinder player is that character equipment and character style are two different things. Now you might be like, Jabs, what the hell are you talking about? 
Well, I mean the items you equipped your character with that have base stats can stay on you while you wear a different item. Yes, this is true. If you click on style in your character customization window, you can go through all of your items and choose any one you want and it will not impact your stats. The only time items impact your stats is if you're outside of that section and you're clicking on the items when they're showing the stats. So if there's a cool top for your character but it's not exactly the best for your stats, you can keep the stats of another top and wear that top and customize it. And I tested this out myself, it does not change your stats, so I'm looking forward to seeing all the drip that you guys come up with. Well, those are the top five most crucial things you need to know as a Wayfinder player. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Did I help you out? I would love to know. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe for more Wayfinders videos. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.